Do you want to capture videos like this from your ultrasound machine? Do you want a simple method? Now you can do this with DigitNow HD Video Capture Box. DigitNow HD Video Capture Box is a standalone HD video recorder. Means that no computer required to record or playback videos. DigitNow Video Capture Device records full HD 1080p videos from HDMI or AV resources onto the inserted SD card or USB flash drive. Now let's unbox the DigitNow HD video capture box. This is a free three years warranty. Now this is the DigitNow HD video capture box. This large five inch OLED screen and built in stereo speakers allow you to preview the audio and video. The device has built in 1800 milliampere per hour lithium battery. It lasts about one hour of recording and two hours of playback. Now this is the user manual. This is a five volt power adapter for charging. This is Type-C USB cable for charging. You can charge the battery by using the power adapter or by plugging the USB cable into the USB of the computer. This is HDMI cable. The HDMI is plugged into the video source and the other side into the HDMI in of the capture device. This capture device comes with a 64 gigabytes SD card. You can use SD card with a maximum capacity of 128 gigabytes for saving. Make sure that SD card is formatted as FAT32 or XFAT format. SD cards with speed class 10 or higher are recommended. This is AV cable for input and output. Now, let's see how to capture videos from ultrasound machine using DigitNow HD video capture box. First, plug the USB flash drive into the video capture device. Then turn on the device. Now, Plug the HDMI cable into HDMI in of the capture device.
Make sure that the video source is set for HDMI, not AV. And make sure that the default storage device is USB, not SD. Now, connect the other side of the HDMI cable into the HDMI output of the ultrasound machine. Now, the screen of the ultrasound machine is seen on the screen of the capture device. You can start recording from the ultrasound machine by pressing the OK button of the capture device.
Now let's review the video capture box. As you can see, the capture box frame is metallic. This is the POW button. These sockets for HDMI out, HDMI in, AV out, and AV in. This socket for SD card. And this one for USB flash drive. And this socket for Type-C USB cable. To charge the battery, connect the Type-C USB cable into its socket in the video capture box and connect the other side of the USB cable into the power adapter or into the USB socket of the computer or laptop. The SD card is inserted into its socket by this way, as you can see, and is ejected by pressing over it. To record from AV source, you can use the AV cable by plugging the cable into AV in of the capture device and the other side of the cable into video source. To record from HDMI source, plug the HDMI cable into HDMI in of the capture device and the other side of the cable into HDMI output of the video source. Now, let's review the software of the device. This is the estimated recording time on the inserted 64GB SD card from the AV source. These icons refer to AV source, video recording mode, and the default storage device. To change the language, press the menu button. Go to language and choose your preferred language. To change the time and date. Go to System Date and Time Setting and set the time and date by using the right and left buttons on the top of the device. To change the date stamp, go to date stamp and set the date stamp to off, date, or date and time. To change the quality of the recorded video, go to movie quality and change the quality to either 1080p 60 high, 1080p 60 low, or 720p. To change the video source, Go to Video Source and choose between HDMI or AV. As you can see the first icon here indicates that the video source is HDMI. If we change video source to AV, now the icon shape changes to AV as you can see. To change auto stop recording, Go to Auto Stop Recording and set the recording time from the available options. Now, the USB mode can be changed for charging the battery or for Mass Storage Device Class, MSDC.
To change the storage device, go to default storage device and choose between the SD card and USB drive. Schedule recording. This option allows you to set time and date of timing recording. Now formatting is used to format the storage device, either the SD card or the USB drive. You can restore the settings to the factory default state by choosing Restore Factory Setting and pressing Yes. To adjust the volume, press on Volume Up button to increase the volume, and press on the Volume Down button to decrease the volume. To play recorded video, press on Mode button to switch to the Play mode. Then press on OK to start playing video, and press on OK again to pause video. Press on Next button to switch to the next video. And press on Previous button to switch to last video. To fast forward or fast backward the playing video, you can long press the previous or next buttons.